What's up everyone? Laser engravers like the Otour have been super popular lately. I've had one for a few months and it's been a great addition to my shop. They recently released a more budget friendly but smaller version called the Alfaro Laser One. Now they're releasing another machine that bridges the gap between those two, the Alfaro Laser 2. It's a more affordable option that offers a large work area of about 15 by 15 inches. Let's take a look at it and see what it can do. Assembly is super easy. It's actually much easier than the Atour was. They ship the frame in five pieces that already has the belts and some wiring hooked up. It literally took me about 10 minutes to get this one together. You'll have a few options for software. The most popular are Laser Gerbil, which is free, but only supported by Windows, and Lightburn, which is supported by Windows and Mac. It'll run you about 60 bucks for a lifetime license. That's what I use. It's fairly user-friendly, and there's a lot of community support and a ton of great tutorials out there on it. Setting the machine up in Lightburn is easy. You just click Devices, Create Manually, Select Gerbil, Serial slash USB. Then you can name your machine. Put in the dimensions. Since I'm using inches, it's 15.35. If you're using millimeter, it's 390. Then just turn off the option to Auto Home on Startup. Now it's ready to run. They give you three options for the actual laser. The LU2 TAC2 is really budget friendly, but only offers about 1.6 watts of output power. This model is specifically for engraving. Because of the lower power output, it'll take a little longer to do these engravings. The LU2 TAC4 short focus is also designed with engraving in mind, but it has a lot more power at 5.5 watts. This is the unit I'm running on my machine. It's also capable of cutting some materials, but if cutting is going to be your primary focus, I would go with the LU2 TAC4 long focus. It also has 5.5 watts of output power and can cut wood, leather, acrylic, and other materials. I'll put a link to the full list of materials you can cut and engrave in the description. If you're interested in learning more about these machines or purchasing one, I'll have an affiliate link down there as well. I'll also have links to my other videos on the Otour Laser Master 2 Pro and Alfaro Laser 1 you can check out before making your decision. If you're thinking about getting one of these, I'd love to hear what you plan to use it for, so please leave a comment below. And don't hesitate to ask any questions. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone over on one of these other videos.